Hi everyone, I'm Florian Tapias and today I have the pleasure to present you the work titled Modeling of the Droplets Capture Release Dynamic of Water Alternated Motion Fluid in Porous Media Through a Non-Equilibrium Mass Transfer. This work was developed with the collaboration of Ranena Pons, the Professor Mars Carvalho, and Rafael Valadars. It is a result of a partnership between the PUC here and Red Salt in OPEC Brazil. Let's go. The emulsion fluting is an chemical alternative enhancer recording method known by the capability to do the conformance of highly porous and permeable zones inside the reservoir. This conformance is conduced through the capture of oil droplets suspended in a stable emulsion, generating new flow paths. These new flow paths usually are named as divergent flow um, the divergent flow has the capability to alterate the capillary forces state inducing to the mobilization of the trepinoid ganglia and thus increasing the recovery factor. Besides the conformance, there is evidence that confirms the existence of uh, alteration of the relative friendly curves associated with the improve with the re reduction of the water mobility. Finally, in 2016, our group present results about the efficiency of the improvement of the sweep efficiency when used the emulsion injection in comparison with the conventional water flooding. It's possible to observe that the, when the water is injected, there are generate some flow paths that are closed through the use of oil droplets or for the emulsion injection, and new flow paths are generated and the oil of this region is swept. Continue with the theoretical knowledge, it's important to think in the conformance. If we made a zoom in this region, it's possible to talk about the capture droplet mechanisms. There are several nature for this capture, but we are focused on two of them, a mechanical entrainment known as straining. It occurs when the oil droplets has a closer value, droplet size has a closer value to the pore size. And the interception is, uh, is more related with the chemical interactions and it is commonly associated with electrostatic forces and van der Waals interactions. It is important because the interception could be generated the reading of pore throats. Uh, only to remember the benefits associated with the emulsion flooding are the conformance of the porous of highly permeable pore zones, also the alteration of capillary force states, the change of wettability, and besides that, this method is promissory in offshore conditions because it is an opportunity to use the seawater and produce oil plus the correct surfactant to stabilize the emulsion and then reinject it inside the porous media. However, there are some issues. The fitness of them is related with the emulsion stabilization. There is a really challenged task that needs to be overcome. And the second one is the lack of in a correct way to represent and forecast the emulsion flow inside the porous media at the reservoir scale. It is the main motivation for our work. Um, for this, we are proposing a complementary approach to represent the emulsion droplet capture and how this approach could be uh, uh, implemented in a commercial reservoir simulation software. We use STARS from CMG. With this approach, we expect to improve the history meshing between the experimental data previously generated and the numerical simulation outputs. About the different models proposed until now, we would like to highlight that there are several models and there are several approaches, but we choose three of them that we consider that there are the basis for the others proposed. The first of them is the bulb viscosity. This model only describes the flow of highly concentrated emotions. It represents the improvement of the reduction of the water mobility is considering the motion as a highly viscosity fluid. The second one is the droplet retardation model. It is a good model, but it cannot predict the irreversible permeability reduction. 
And finally, the filtration theory is the most adequate continuous model. It uh, is capable to reproduce correctly the strain and interception phenomena. However, it doesn't reproduce the irreversible probability reduction. To continue, it's important to understand the filtration theory because it is the base of our analysis. The filtration theory considers the emulsion as a colloidal stable system with a low concentration of oil droplets for the reason there is no viscosity alteration of the fluid injected. Besides that, the trapping depends on permeability at a single flow velocity and there is no retrainment. With these considerations, the filtration theory represents in a good way, the emulsion fluiding performance through three parameters, the filtration coefficient, the flow diversion coefficient, and the flow restriction parameter. The first phenomenon represented is the straining. It has a relationship with the filtration coefficient, and we consider that the straining is dominated when exists a linear capture or a capture efficiency of one. I'm trying to say the following. If one mole of the oil droplet component is entry in our model, one mole will be captured. The interception is the second phenomenon, and it is more related with the flow diversion coefficients. And it's important to highlight that this, this phenomenon is uh, representing the chemical, the physical chemical interactions between the oil droplets and rock surface. Now, the, our proposed approach that considering the filtration theory, um, uh, use a second term to represent the detachment of the oil droplets. It is a similar equation to the non-equilibrium form of the uh, Langmuir isotherm. To represent the different parameters of this equation, we use three kinetic reactions. The first of them is related with the filtration coefficient. The second one with the flow rate distribution parameter, and the third reaction is related with the detachment, uh, with the performance of the droplet detachment. With this, it's possible to obtain or to know the concentration of the oil droplets retained inside the pulse media at each time step of the simulation, and this concentration will alterate the permeability, the absolute permeability of the model as a way to interpolate the relative permeability curves. This interpolation is associated with the flow restriction parameter, or also known bit. Now, our simulation model is a representation of a core fluid experiment made by Guillem in 2012. We choose this experiment by two reasons. The first of them was made in-house, and we know some details of the experiments. And the second one, this uh, experimental data uh, was also used for ponds in 2014 and 2016 uh, to represent uh, for different approach to represent the emulsion flooding. Uh, I would like to highlight that our model preserves the transversal area of the rock sample. I mean to guarantee that the Darcy velocity are respected and also the relative probability curves were obtaining through the adjusting of the history machine of the water flooding process. With it, we develop a methodology that encompasses two stages. The first of them is the validation of the filtration model using two kinetic reactions. For this, we are represented the straining and in the, the interception. And the second one used three kinetic reactions. It includes the drop release. And besides that, we use a binary mixture rule to represent the emulsion viscosity. It is a an highly uncertain parameter in our model because during the experiments, the emulsion was diluted in flow for the reason we don't know exactly the concentration of the emulsion injected. We did, entering the results, the filtration model was validated to or through the use of two kinetic reaction, it's possible to see that the straining is a good representative. If we observe the blue continuous line, it corresponds to the performance of the trap oil concentration. Uh, at the cell one, uh, it is the inlet rock phase. And it's possible to observe that the straining dominates when it maintains their linear trend. 
Um, after that, when the velocity diminishes, the this behavior is lost and change of of, of the trend. Besides that, this model doesn't represent correctly the capillary NAMD experiment uh, experimentally obtained. We expect to obtain a value closer to minus five, and it is not represented. Besides that, or you know, on the other hand, it is possible to observe that there is a good agreement between the oil production, but there is a lack of in a core representation of the pressure performance in during the transient behavior. It is it, it is was expected. It was expected as started by Suan rate. Finally, when we sense this beta, it was possible to observe that this model doesn't include the release and reentrainment phenomenon. Always the beta is increasing and maintaining their trend. And besides that, when we analyzed the water resistant factor, we observed that the motion is accumulating in the inlet, in the inlet part of the rock sample. We consider that it was, was not observed in the experimental core flooding. Now, we're using our proposed model, we observed an improving in the history meshing. The oil production is also good representative, but the most, uh, the most important result is that we able to represent the transit behavior of the pressure through the inclusion of the release phenomena uh, and subsequent reentrainment. Besides that, we confirm it with when we analyze the behavior of the permeability in function of pore volume ejected during the process. It's possible to observe that the in cell one, it is again the inlet of the rock sample. When we started with the emulsion injection, there is a lack of or a reduction of the permeability. But when we started with the chase water, there is uh, like a washing process of the rock sample phase. There is a recovery permeability. However, when we are in distance uh, far away from the rock the, of the inlet rock sample, for example, in the middle of the rock, it's possible to observe that the capture of the droplets is acting. Besides that, we observe some interesting things. One of them is that the model representates correctly the droplet retardation. There, has a, there is a delay on this flow. And besides that, there are a alteration in the capillary numbers that we associate with the oil from mobilized at the rock beginning. With all, the model also respects the capillary number range spec this is close to the uh, minus five value expected. Uh, with this result, it's possible for us to conclude that the non-equilibrium mass transfer model proposed uh, exhibit their capability to take in account the permeability change or their impact in the performance of a water alternative motion flooding. Besides that, using three kinetic reactions is possible to improve the history meshing of this kind of process, including a response for the transient response of the pressure behavior and a good representation of the capillary number prediction. The fact that we accumulate the, this analysis in a reservoir simulation software opens a um, windows of opportunity to conduct an easy forecasting of a complex process of, uh, uh, for instance, the water alternative emulsion injection at field scale. And finally, we recommend to conduce further experiments to diminish the uncertainty of the determination of the flow parameters. It will be possible through the history machine of injectivity test of the emulsion injectivity test. I would like to say thank you for PUC here for the Laboratory of Hydrodynamics and Flow Impulse Media, our sponsor of Solcinopec and the Interpol for this opportunity. If you would like to know more about us and about our research group, I invite you to visit our homepage on our social, social media. Thank you.